What's cooking guys? Welcome back to another exciting episode of A La Carte with Alex where I'm helping you cook up quick, easy, and delicious food one plate at a time. And today uh, we're actually doing something a little bit different. I'm actually going to show you guys uh, a new hack. It's kind of like a Pinterest like kitchen hack. So we're not going to be cooking today, I know, but hang on. It's going to be kind of a cool one and I think it's going to be worth your time. So let's get to it. Okay, so we're uh, actually in my bathroom right now. Probably the only time I want you guys in the shower with me. It's kind of weird. But um, yeah, so what we're actually gonna use is we're gonna use this little rack back here. Uh, this metal one that hangs from the shower head. This is the thing that we're actually gonna use. It's pretty cool, it's pretty neat. It's a Pinterest hack that uh, we found. And so we're gonna use this is where we have like the shampoos, we have the face creams and all the different like shower uh, little nifty things here but so yeah so that's what we're gonna use and I'm gonna meet you guys right back in the kitchen let's go transition okay so now we're back in the kitchen guys and I have that same rack you can uh, let's let's rewind a little bit and you'll see it's the same rack so let's go ahead and take a look at that there you go exactly the same one exactly the same okay so now we're back uh, so it's the same color uh, same style we got we got um, I think we got this at uh, Bed Bath & Beyond um, and we used like the 20% off coupon and it was like something like coupon. <laughs> we used the 20% off coupon and I think it was like $20 somewhere around the range. So it's really not that expensive a hack. Um, we have plenty of storage, but we wanted a little bit extra for uh, our upcoming baby. And we wanted to make sure that, you know, we had just some easy stuff to grab. So we put bottles and we put some pacifiers and cleaning stuff on there. But the great thing about this is that if you don't have a kid, it still works. It still works for so many other things. So you can put glasses on it. Let's, uh, now that now that we have this set up, let's zoom in a little bit. There we go. And so you can see, like, we put some glasses. I went ahead and I put uh, glasses up here, glasses on this one, got some shot glasses, got a couple of different mugs. And that's just, like, one of the configurations you can do. So it's nice if you have some, like, really ornate glasses you want to do or ones that you get into all the time. It's perfect for that. Um, it's also great for any of your cooking utensils. Okay, so now we have it all cleaned up and it's perfect for taking our measuring cups. We can go ahead and put those there. We got some other little hand cups. Those will stick right there. We have our little tiny teaspoons and everything. We can totally slip on. Put those there. And uh, like these ones, if they don't fit, you can always put them here in this little rack. So it's really nice how easy this tool is and just the amount of stuff that you can fit on here. So like for instance, if you want to put this near your stove, and you just want to be able to grab all your measuring stuff, or if you want to grab, uh, excuse me guys, if you want to grab one of your spoons here and just uh, hook that right on, you can kind of see, hang on one second. There we go. So you can kind of just hook a spoon on there and it'll work perfectly. Let's get you back. Okay, so there we go. So we can put spices there. So, I mean, I don't personally recommend leaving spices where the sun can hit them, it's too close to a window. Um, I find that it just makes the spices expire faster. But if uh, you don't have a window around or you really just don't have the storage, this is a great option. You can fit easily uh, two by two, so you can like stack them up there and you can get a ton of spices in here. You can use like little measuring devices or bowls here at the bottom or hang them. You can have your bigger uh, sauces or uh, containers, those can fit here. So you can get a lot of storage out of these things and you can use them in multiple parts of your kitchen, which is fantastic. Uh, by the way, I'm not being sponsored by whoever makes this, but I just find it such a cool hack. Um, I don't even know what the brand is. I just, I liked that it was a bronze color and I liked the rack and it was just kind of a cool way to add extra storage to our kitchen. I'm sure you guys are tired of seeing examples about this, but I have one more being a, a huge coffee lover. This is great for storing coffee. And as long as it's not by a window or by a heat source, it's great. You can just go ahead and stack all your favorite coffees right in there and they're easy to grab. You can put any uh, espresso machine uh, accessories or any tools they use. You can use your measuring uh, scooper for these. You can go ahead and hang them, which is nice after you wash them, they kind of air dry a little bit. You can just use all this stuff. So it's just so cool and it's such a nice little uh, uh, space saver for your kitchen. 
And I just hope that you guys get some value out of this. You, uh, you can probably find this sort of stuff on Amazon, whatever's gonna work for your kitchen. We have a very white kitchen since we're renting an apartment and this bronze is just such a nice offset for it. Um, but yeah, so those are just some of the, the cool little hacks that you can use. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you found some value in this. I hope that you guys go out and find your own rack and create that extra storage in your kitchen that you really need. Uh, you can probably put this above your stove if you have it. Um, any other place in your kitchen will do. As long as you can attach it, mine is just attached with a couple of nails, uh, just so it doesn't wiggle around a little bit. But like I said, I hope that you guys like this video. Make sure that you hit that like button, uh, subscribe so you're never missing out on a video, and leave a comment down below. Let me know how you guys are utilizing tools like this or any other uh, kitchen hacks and storage areas that you guys use. I would love to know about them, so go ahead and leave those in the comments down below. But uh, I will see you guys next time. Make sure that you're staying full and staying healthy. Bye, guys.